Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, sitting here in the backyard, I wanted to show you my crawler park. I made myself a crawler park. I started this back in October of 2018, shortly after Hurricane Florence struck Southeast North Carolina. And so the backwoods here had a lot of debris and trees and stuff like that. And I decided that I wanted to clean it up. And I was like, this is a great opportunity for me to make my crawler park. And so I got back here and I started clearing out the brush and I started making trails and stuff like that for the crawlers. And I came up with my name for the park. I decided to call it WAC, which is Walkabout Creek. Now, if you've ever seen the blockbuster movie Crocodile Dundee, it was a 1984 film starring Paul Hogan. Uh, he was a character named Mitch Dundee who was from Australia in a small town called Walkabout Creek. And I was like, you know what, and since I'm building a crawler park on the creek, which is actually called the Sturgeon Creek, I was like, that's a good name for my park, Walkabout Creek, because you're walking about along the creek or seeing. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera around. I'm actually doing this on my phone. But I wanted to show you guys the park, and I made this park simply for the ultimate trail riding experience. Uh, I like crawling rocks. I, I really do, do like doing the crawling courses and all but I really, really love the trail riding experience. And so I wanted to show you guys my trail park here. And it's awesome. Like I said, it is a type of park that you're gonna experience all types of things from uh, the trail riding, uh, you're gonna experience divots and valleys, tree roots, uh, rocks, mud, water, all that good stuff. And it's all right back here in my own backyard. So that way I don't have to go anywhere when I wanna go crawling or go do some trail running, I can do it right here in my own backyard. So let's do a little tour of the park. So here is Walkabout Creek. Now it starts about right here where I got the pile of all um, materials that I've been building with. I've been collecting a lot of this stuff from job sites that I've been to and uh, so on. But the park is this long right here. As you can see, it goes all the way down, following the, the, the border line, all the way down to the end down there. And in there, it's about 80 feet long, and there's all different types of trails. There's uh, a few man-made objects that I actually put in there just to, you know, put it there just to have something to be a little challenging and stuff. So, let's go ahead. All right, so first off, I have three entrances into the park. The first entrance is the main entrance, which is right there where you see the Curry Beach sign. That is the main entrance into the park. I have another one, which is right there where that four by six is that is another entrance which actually it was a service entrance for me to get the stuff back there and then I have another entrance all the way back there so yeah so let's go ahead and go through the main part here now like I said this is all natural trail riding experience so there's a lot of divots and hills you probably won't see it too much here on the camera but it, there are so starting off here, here at the main entrance, I have three different pathways that leads into different trails. So you got the main one, which leads out to the trail. And then we got these two here on the left and right. So this one over here takes you through what I call Bamboo Avenue, uh, because all this bamboo will eventually grow up like that bamboo right down there. So that goes into Bamboo Avenue. Uh, which is a lot of fun in that general area, but we'll cover that in just a minute. Now over here, I got what I call Pine Grove Loop, uh, and this actually goes around the tree here, and I got my first little scale house back here. Also, like I said, there's a lot of rocks and divots, and a lot of these rocks you see here is broken up concrete, and it's been here for numerous of years uh, when my, my father actually threw all this out there in the woods. He's like, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. I don't have to worry about it. But I uncover it. So all of this, I did not plant. It was there, uh, being there for years. So back over here to the scaled house, I actually found this on the side of the road in a you know garbage pile. And I was like, why, why do people want to throw something like that away? I put two little ladies there. A lot of my friends call it the, the hoochie hat or hoochie hut or something like that. Uh, of course, like I said, you go around the pine tree here there's an entranceway around the around the house, and then you also come down here. I do I have another pathway uh, going around the house and then out onto the main trail? Yeah. 
Now I'll get to that playground. You're probably wondering about that. So uh, here is one part of the creek here. This is actually kind of like a fresh hole for it. The main creek is another 50 feet or so back. Uh, and it's always flowing and stuff. All right, so here's the main part of the trail. And it goes all the way back to that tree right there. I'm pointing at not this tree, that tree right back there. So it's a good lengthy long trail. And there's our little split off right here where that pink flamingo is. So I got one leading that way, uh, which that part I have not really kind of focused on right now. That is kind of like phase two. Eventually I might do something with it. It's just gonna take a lot of time to get back there and remove all that brush, but it is our land, so we can do it if we want. All right, so get back onto the main trail here. So start off, like I said, there's more trails, but I'll go through all that. So we got these rocks here, go through. Now, made a little debit here, or a little V, to go on to the playground set, which is a lot of fun. I'm still working on building that. Like I said, I started this park in October of last year, 2018, and I'm still building on it. It's, something's gonna be a, a continuously built thing, and also maintenance-wise. There's a lot of maintenance that keeping this thing cleaned and stuff because of the vegetation and stuff. As you see, it's, it's actually starting to grow now. So all these ferns and stuff like that's growing. All right, so down the pathway again, like I said, there's a lot of roots and bit, uh, little dips and valleys and stuff like that to travel through. All right, so let's, I'm trying to avoid some muddy areas because we did have some rain the other day. Now, this right here is called the Rock and Roll Slide Tunnel. It is a lot of fun. Uh, of course, this is the entrance into the trail to it. So you're going up that, up the pile of rocks right there, onto this slide here. And of course, there's a little pool right there, so you have to go to kind of have to go to like through it. Then I did a little suspension net bridge, so when the crawlers are coming over, it actually bends down. So it's pretty cool. Also, there's another little bridge that leads to uh, the other trail over there. We'll get to that in just a minute. But uh, got this uh, wood pallets here as like kind of a bridge with different obstacles missing. Uh, parts of the wood there just can make it a little challenging for not just the 1.5s but for the 1.9s as well and 2.2s all right so <laughs> all right so let's move on like i said there's just a lot of stuff back here in this one little area uh to travel at and have fun and uh get over to that part over there so all right so back here we have this really cool tree right here that is dead. It's been toppled over for years, broke down there at the base, and it's just sitting there. And I didn't want to cut it down because it's just a cool looking tree. Plus, it makes a good natural hill climb. So you can go up this. I actually took some splitter logs that I had laying around, and I used that as a thing to go up the hill with, or go up the, the trees with, or go down it. It is pretty difficult. Uh, to line up your tires right and getting it over the hump of this part right here. So it's a lot of fun. Now back here I call this Oyster Block Bay. And there's a reason why I call it Oyster Block Bay. Because uh, as again my dad uh, <coughs> was a fan of oysters. And there is a nothing but a big oyster pal here. So I call it Oyster Block Bay because there are all these blocks here. That again he threw back here because he wanted it out of sight. And uh, so all that was just sitting here under years of vegetation and leaves and stuff. But I made some really cool trails out of it. So over here, like I said, it's hard to stay on trail because all my trails are mixing in with other trails. So it makes it more, it, you're in a small area, but it makes it seem like it's a lot bigger. If that makes sense. All right, so back over here to Oyster Block Bay. A uh, lot of fun. Uh, this part right here, I like to call it the gookie, the gookie part, because uh, uh, this is actually pretty cool because you can crawl up here and actually your, your right side of your tires, or if you're going this way, then your left side tires are going to go into this gookie mud and, uh, and just crawling up this hill, and it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Now, I do want to say this right here. 
the creek here, it doesn't look that deep. You can actually kind of see the bottom there, but this ain't no joke, my friends. This thing is a lot deeper than it looks. So you see this stick right here, the toe stick I have? This is how deep it really is. So that kind of gives you a general idea of how deep this is. So if you step into it, guarantee you are going to uh, <laughs> you're going to sink. So yeah, look at this. That is crazy, my friends. So yeah, you don't want to step in there. And I've been telling everybody who comes over here to crawl and to do trail riding, do not go into the creek. Uh, it will tear up your motor a lot. <laughs> I mean, honestly, really, it will it'll stop your motor because of how filthy it is. Over there is my uh, trash pile where I've been taking Bree at. And I honestly say I've probably, in the last few months, hauled a good couple, maybe five or six trailer fulls of debris and it's all just kind of sitting over here to the side kind of out of sight out of mind now i just recently opened up this area last week uh to give it a little more uh shade and stuff like that because that part of that tree is dead and i don't want to cut any more down from it so but yeah so we got all these little striper stumps here which are pretty cool the large one is right here this sucker is huge cypress tree and uh, made some trails, and I'm still working in this general area. I have not uh, done a lot of stuff in that area. So let's go back to the main part over here, talk about this area, because that is a lot of fun. That is my favorite area of all. And then we'll cover this general area again, or cover it. <laughs> all right. All right, so whew. now we come up here is what I call Evergreen Road, because it's always green no matter what during the summer winter is always green right here so we got these pretty cool tall trees now not exactly sure what these trees are called but they are really awesome they have very thick root system so i piled a lot of rocks between the roots to kind of give you something to crawl on and uh it works out extremely well it's a lot of fun now like i said trails are all over the place so you're never going to be just in one line there's always somewhere to go uh, the, the tunnel there goes on to the main trail. It's a lot of fun driving in there. Some vehicles can fit, some can't. Okay, so again, different more trails to go. So just different pathways through this whole thing. Uh, so come around here, you got the Old Man Log Bridge, uh, which is a lot of fun and challenging for, you know, the 1.5 and 1.9s. And it's pretty cool, pretty steady as well. I can stand on this thing without even, you know, remotely breaking <laughs> but it gives you a good overlay view of the park so all that <laughs> all right so let's jump down okay so got the trail here this goes down here and loops around the tree here Falafalu coming around the tree and the gnats are out right now of course about five o'clock so this is the time for gnats now bamboo avenue like i said about this place right here all this concrete and rocks were here after years of being tossed back here and they kind of just settled themselves into the ground so it was really cool this is a lot of people's fun little area a lot of people come to this area just because of how the terrain is and all uh so yeah so there's the old man lot bridge and uh different trails around it, the trees coming this way So we got this rock area here, a lot of fun. And coming up to do another tree with a pile of rocks, a big root system. Uh, I'm eventually going to be working on this area uh, sometime, maybe during the winter months when the vegetation dies off. But uh, for right now, that's just on a kind of to-do list. Okay, so let's make the way back over to the playground area. Talk about that area. All right, so make our way through the trail, run off the trail a little bit. Okay, so the playground. Ended up picking this up for my mom 
uh, my cousin had it at, at my mom's house because she used to babysit him a lot. And uh, he's too big for it now. So I was like, well, I'll take it off your hands. This is a lot of fun, actually. And I'm still going to work on this thing a little bit more to make it more funner, I guess. But uh, I call this the speed hill because you got to get a good amount of speed portion to make it up this hill or up the slide and into the tunnel. So it's a lot of fun to do that. Plus, you know, you got different ways to go, and I have to still pile some more rocks in there and stuff. But I got some inside here, a lot of broken up cinder blocks and some stuff like that. Then I got this wanky wooden uh, stairway, I guess. Very difficult. Uh, only a handful of trucks has made it up there without using a winch. Other people had to use a winch. But uh, it is a lot of fun. Next one is another slide here. And I really hadn't worked on this slide because it is a taller slide. So it makes it hard to actually get that speed up there. So you have to either use a winch. But I'm going to use something with this as far as maybe putting some grip there or putting some rocks in there and screwing them down or whatever I can come up with. Now this generator here, I have not come up with a name yet, but it is a cool area. There's the creek right there. And like I said, you go all through these trees. There's piles of rocks everywhere. So a lot of fun. <clears throat> all right. So over here to what I call Mud Alley, because you can see there's my footprint, mud. So uh, it goes over to this little kind of uh, log bridge, I want to say. I'm still uh, working on that. I kind of just put it there, but it goes over the water, which is pretty cool. Now the trail here leads around this big, humongous tree. Really big. <laughs> All the way up there. And uh, it has a really nice root system. Very trail uh, kind of roots just everywhere. And it's all the way around, so I uncovered it, and it looks pretty awesome. So, yeah. All right. So, I think that's it, my friends. I think I covered every part of the of Walkabout Creek. It is a pretty awesome place. I enjoy it. It is my little slice of heaven. So, now you saw my park here, right here in my own backyard, which is pretty nice. It's pretty sweet to have your own crawler park right behind your house. So, when you want to go crawling, you want to do some trail riding, you don't feel like going anywhere, you can do it right there in your own backyard. And it's awesome to do it. I will want to say that doing this park is fun building it, but it's also a headache because of the maintenance on this thing. Uh... <laughs> every week I have to get out here and trim it if not the vegetation kind of takes over this place really quick so uh, trying to keep up on the maintenance out sometimes I can't uh, another issue that I deal with is heavy rain uh, tends to flood back here not too much but it tends to do flood a little bit so uh, that's the only problem I have to worry about is uh, like small amounts of flooding uh, which makes the park yeah, it's a little fun, I guess. It makes it a little muddy, dirty. So, yeah. But, you know, like I said, it's my little place of where I can go crawling when I want to or trail ride whenever I want to. I don't really have to go anywhere and get out the sun. It's blinding me because it is sun setting. It's 5 o'clock or so at the time of this filming in this video. But, uh, man, I put a lot of time and work into this place. Uh, since October of last year uh, I'll actually show you a picture of what the park looked like before I even touched it you know when the hurricane so here's a picture of what it looked like in my backyard as you can see pretty flooded back there uh, I want to say that the park or back here in the backyard was probably a good eight feet underwater or so somewhere in that general area it was pretty high I'm not exactly sure on how high, but I'm going to say around six, seven, eight feet high back here. And uh, <laughs> pretty brutal. So, but, yeah, that's the only thing I have to really worry about. And uh, I really like it. You know, I see other people have their own crawler parks, and they have some pretty awesome ones. My buddy Drew has an awesome course with at his house 
well thought out, well planned, is just an awesome park. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, this is my little little slice of heaven, and it's just a fun area. And uh, I'm lucky to have something where I can actually build at, because not a lot of us can build at our houses because maybe you have a you know the homeowner association uh, i think it was the ho hoa or whatever you can't uh, build anything but i can do it here in the backyard and it's really nice i enjoy having this it's just a lot of time a lot of maintenance doing this thing but after it after all at the end of it is very much worth it yeah, I'm sorry I'm not looking exactly at the camera because I really don't know where to look at it on my phone because I'm doing the reverse mode. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, get back into the sun. The sun. All right. So, yeah. And, of course, that is all my building material. Rocks and stuff like that. Wood. All right, my friends. So, thank you for watching the tour of Walkabout Creek RC Park here in my own backyard. Thanks for watching guys and I will see y'all later.